up, guys? Um, I really don't know what week it is. I'm so sorry. It's Monday. I maintained my weight this month, this week. What is happening? I maintained my weight this week. I'm really okay with it. I did a lot of eating I shouldn't have. I ate a lot of cake. I ate empanadas and I felt like crap itself. Like it was so bad. I was restless. I did not know what to do. I got just, ugh, I couldn't go to the bathroom. I was stopped up and I was just like, this is the worst. So I like shoved myself with salad to try to like get it to come through. And some of it did this morning when I went to the gym. And so that was super nice. And I maintained. I do feel the definition starting to happen in my thighs. I, uh, I feel great today. I had my last piece of cake today, so thank God. At the gym, I started doing interval training. One of my biggest issues is that when I go to the gym, I don't feel like I'm burning enough calories. And I try to go there and burn as much calories as I can within an hour. Um, I mean, my roommate, she can burn like 900 something calories in an hour, which is great, but I'm like, barely hitting 600, 700, and I'm like, what is happening? Uh, she was like, interval training or whatever, and I'm like, okay, like, I'll try the interval training because I forgot, like, interval training does wear you out, and so it was a little bit better of a workout. So I decided to interval start interval training on the elliptical and the Sternmaster, and today, oh, crazy. I also started changing what I work out when I work out. So I'm now isolating things. So I have an arm day, um, a leg day, an ab, an ab and back day, I think I wanna do. But anyways, I want to just make it where I can just really wear out those muscles a little bit more and then have, of course, have, uh, get them to rest a little bit more. I also started stretching. Well, I've been stretching for a little bit but i really started implementing a lot of stretching into the mix of things it's getting real out there y'all <laughs> my muscles um are getting super tight and it's because of me lifting heavier weights going longer going more intense and so i have to keep things loose um my knees have been hurting me a little bit more and it's because just because they get tight and so once they get tight i have to tell myself to stretch them and if you guys are wanting to know how I stretch these muscles, just let me know and I'll show you just different techniques and ways that I've learned um, that work well for me. So if you find something that works better for you for a certain um, muscle group, just do that. I should say for my 30th birthday, which is in two years, um, I should go and order Gymshark pants that I can actually fit into and that I can actually wear to the gym once I get done. Um, there's a lot of things that I buy online that I think would fit and then sizes that, you know, you know, they're the number size and everything's correct, but um, I get them and they like can't get above my knees, like so bad. And I would end up keeping those items and thinking, oh, I'm going to get into them later like once I lose weight, so it'll be a motivation. And I would, it'll be year after year after year and I just would not um, get into those items. It would be frustrating because those are really cute items and I just can't, I can't get into them. Um, I have two pairs of pants right now that are kind of like off-brand Gymshark and I, I haven't been able to wear them. So it's been super frustrating.
go. Eventful morning so far. Let me tell you about it. Less noise. Oh, okay. Um, while taking out the trash, I have to go to the backyard and our neighbors have puppies, bulldog puppies, and they're about teenagers or so. Well, one was is not on his leash and he's running up to me and they're so cute. But I was like, where's your leash? So I was like, okay, whatever. But he followed me up to the street where I had to put the trash can. Like I could barely walk. He's going in between my legs and I'm like, I can't walk. <laughs> and super good dog. They're such good dogs. But if I had a left to come to the gym, he would have probably ran off somewhere and probably got lost. So I went to my neighbor's house, knocked on the door, um, letting you know it's like 7.30, 7.40 in the morning and nobody's answering. So I knock again, nobody's answering. Then I go to their backyard to find the leash. Can't find his original leash. So I go to my front porch, hoping that one of them will wake up and come outside. And so in the meantime, I go and sit on my front porch and just entertain the dog and pet him. And I mean, he's so lovey. I love him so much. And then I was like, I'm gonna go knock on their door again, try again, knock on the door again, ring the doorbell, nobody's home or at least nobody's awake. So I saw some string right beside their um, porch. And so I decided to knock, um, decided to tie the string to the front porch and then tie him to that. Um, I forgot all of my knots because I haven't been at TPAC in a while. So I just did the tie, you know, several times. So hopefully that stays. If not, whatever I've tried to assist you and your dog um but it was it was hard <laughs> so okay i just made it home and he's still up there 